Minnesota City Living, we take a look inside a mobile market that is providing access to fresh produce and foods in neighborhoods. It's all through a partnership with Tom's Creek Family Farm and the City of Columbia. Let's go take a look. Getting to a grocery store for produce or things that you need could be a little challenging for some people, but luckily there is an amazing local farm right here in the Midlands that has created a mobile unit to bring the grocery store to you. So I am inside this mobile unit with Tom's Creek Family Farms and I'm here with one of the owners. This is Larry. It's so nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Um, tell us a little bit about Tom's Creek Family Farms. So we're a family farm in Hopkins, about 174 acres. We started in 2017. Um, we greenhouse grow 365 days a year. We grow about 75% of the produce that's on the trailer and then we source the other 25 as local as we can get. That's awesome. So you have your physical farm yep. in, Hopkins, in Hopkins, but you recently opened a physical store. 912 Lady Street, the Farmer's Market Exchange. And that is also, other farmers can come in and sell their stuff to us and we sell it for them. Oh, that's awesome. And now you have this mobile, or I'll say like the satellite store. Satellite. Where did this the concept come from? So the city of Columbia put out a opportunity to apply for a contract to get money to help out to build this and we applied and we're the ones that got chosen and we modeled it with the USDA tried to do the same thing in Ohio before COVID so we kind of modeled it after their trailer set up and this is what we came up with. I love it. Now, you all have uh, different locations that you go to throughout yes. the week, and your Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursday. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And Saturday. So Monday, we're at Hyatt Park from 10 to 3. Wednesdays, we're here at Greenview Park, 10 to 3. And Thursdays, we're at Edgewood Library from 11 to 4. And then Saturday, we're at the intersection of Hampton and Maine at downtown Soda City, the Farmer's Market. That's awesome. So for those who may not be able to come out, you all are coming to the neighborhood. We're and for those that aren't able to come to the neighborhood, you can come and meet them. So I love that concept. Now, there are some, some different forms of payment that you all accept. Let's talk about yeah. that. We accept the senior voucher program when it happens. We accept WIC vouchers. We do SNAP. We do Healthy Bucks. We do Venmo. We do cash. We, we take it all, pretty much all. That's awesome. Now, talk a little bit about what it was like when you all first introduced this to these communities. What was the response like? They they really love the idea and they know they need it. And hopefully it will bring a grocery store to their community. This is the this is just a stepping stone. The city is working on a great project. They're gonna bring grocery stores here. They just have to get it. Yeah. There's a process to it. This is beautiful though. What you what you have done is not only allow other businesses to be able to to utilize what it is that you're doing, yes. but you're allowing people to have the fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, all the produce that they probably won't get. A lot of areas out no. here have fast food restaurants. They have like a dollar store. Dollar store. They've tried to start introducing some produce, but this is a lot different. And a lot of the food here is locally Local. owned and grown. Yep. So I want to kind of go through so the, the way we came through is the way that most the entrance, of the yep. patrons will be coming through. And then you have to exit here. Yep. And one thing that I thought was really interesting was one of the features that you mentioned. You have two doors. So two doors. And the, and the register kind of shifts, shifts to whatever yep. you need. So we can put it in any parking lot and not have to fight a spot to get in. That's perfect. Uh, so this is my first time visiting the mobile uh, food market. And I think it's a great uh, concept. They got a good wide variety of uh, fresh fruits and veggies and the prices are very reasonable and uh, I think it was a great experience and I look forward to coming back. Um, if you can bring fresh fruits and produce to people uh, and bring it in their communities, I think people should be excited about that and because I know we do have a lot of food deserts and so and transportation can be an issue as far as getting to the store but if they can bring it to you, yeah I think that's that's awesome. Well, listen, it wouldn't be fair for me to come here to a mobile grocery store and not go shopping. So I'm here with Tess. She's going to check us out today and I'm going to go through my little goodie bags so you can see what I got today. So, and they also have these cool reusable bags as well. Do y'all sell these? We can have them. She said we can have them. They're free. That's awesome. So courtesy of the city. So I got these grapes. These, these grapes look absolutely amazing. I'm funny with texture, y'all. I love me some firm fruit and these grapes are perfect 
I got my favorite. I love root beer. There are people that don't like root beer, but that's your business. This is mine. I love this. I thought this was real interesting. Pickled okra pimento cheese spread. And Tess tells me they also have dill pickle, but they can't keep it on the shelves. So I'm gonna be so excited to try this out as well. Couple more items. Now they have chow chow. I actually just recently found out about chow chow, but today instead I'm gonna get this hot jalapeno pepper jelly. It's gonna be a fun charcuterie board I can make with that one. And then they also have some fresh plums as well. And I'm a Southern girl, so I love me some plums. So this is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and get checked out and I'm going to enjoy this. So the trailer got built out of Georgia and it came with the ACs and uh, it came insulated. Um, we just built the shelves and the counters and all that stuff. It took four months to get the trailer built and it took us about three months to finish it out. That's it. Now, now when you say that it took four months for you all to get everything done and you all built the cabinets and the shelving, did you build it yourself? We built it ourselves. Wow, so you all are, you're very handy. Yep. You're very handy, you have the green thumbs when it comes to the produce, but you also are very handy when it comes to, you know, the the, the big pieces of furniture yep. that you all have as well. Can we find like the same style in here in any of your stores? The We built all the shelves at the store. Oh, wow. So we actually have a sawmill at the farm and we cut like 125 year old pine trees from the farm that are down at the Lady Street location. I am impressed. Yep. I am so impressed. So, I, I mean, I don't know the first thing about building this. I could probably build like a picture frame. That's, that's, that's where I start with that and that's where I also end. But you you all kind of like mapped out how you wanted yep. things to look and then you just executed. That's yep. awesome. You can find Tom's Creek Family Farms at the following location. Visit SodaCityLiving.com for more information.